Well, good morning. It's Monday and we've got lots of fun things going on in the garden and of course, uh, always learning stuff. Well, welcome back. So I'm super excited. Last week after um, we did our little tour, um, each day new things were happening in the garden. So I've got lots of new stuff going on, lots of blossoms that I'm gonna share with you and a pesky problem that I ran into yesterday. So let's take a tour. So we're gonna start over here with the squashes that are all just looking awesome. And I don't have any females showing up or making a presentation over here, but I've been, I've got so much pollen that I've taken from these plants, it's not funny. So as soon as the females show up, I'm gonna be ready for them. And these uh, two watermelons are doing okay. I moved this tomato over here because I kind of spread out these guys and gave them a little bit of space and they're doing awesome. This little cherry, if you can see, let me come over here. It's got like four or five little cherry tomatoes on it. So we're super happy with that. This is the Punta Banda and it's got um, like three there and there's some more over here. So that's filling out good. And then I was super excited to see that we also have a Cherokee purple that has emerged. So everything is looking happy um, except for, look at that, look at that something is eating on my plants. Do you see that? So yesterday, I uh, this plant here seems to be eating heartier than any other plant that we have and, and drinking too. So yesterday, um, Dale, my husband called me out and he said, look at this weird leaf. And I said, oh Lord, that's not a leaf. It's a tomato hornworm. I'm like, get that off the plant now. And so he did and we started hunting and we found one more about the size of that first one and then we found a lot of little, little bitty ones. So they were brand new, maybe a couple days old. And um, this is what you're gonna look for if you, if you notice something eating your plant. And I'm gonna show you over here, kind of in this shade, some places to start looking. First is if you see at the top, like I showed you over there on the Cherokee purple, if you see that a branch has been gnawed off or a significant amount of leaves have been gnawed off, that's a good indication to start looking around. Um, another example is I'll show you over here. So see like right here on this plant where you can see like bite marks along the line there and right here on that leaf that's cut. So if you start seeing things like that and, okay, here's a good example. So see right here where there's like all these little cut lines. You might think at first this is a cutter bee, but if you start looking, there's a worm eaten on your plants. The easiest thing to do is just pull them off. And that's what we did is, um, well, I didn't. <laughs> if I do it, I'm gonna have tweezers because they're really squishy feeling and that's, eh. Um, so anyhow, my husband, pulled them off for me yesterday. And then another trick, and I'm gonna show you here um, in a little video that we did last night, is that you can use a black light to hunt for them at night. Because as you're gonna see in the pictures that I'm gonna show you, they are really green and they really disguise themselves well with looking like they're a part of the tomato plant. So if you find some during the day, but you continue to see your plants getting eat up, you might wanna get yourself a little black light and and do a little hunting at night and then you can pull them off okay so we just found one and if you can see right there that part of it is glowing and so that's how you can use a black light um, because they're hard to see during the day because they look just like the leaves um, but if you get yourself a black light then you can come out here and find these little villains because if you don't they will eat your entire plant and this is one that's almost like in the third or fourth stage so he's been here longer than we think this is the one that i just showed you over there and i mean that thing is big yeah so gross Ugh. Bye bye worm. And you wanna get rid of them. Um, even though some people want to preserve the life of those moths, they can really eat up and decimate your plant really quickly. Now, if your plant does get a mowed down chop look 
from a hornworm, remember that you can bring that plant back. It doesn't, just because something's ate almost all of its foliage off, if you feed it, give it some compost, give it some fertilizer, take care of it, you can bring that plant back. So if you've gotten, um, your plants have been chewed up greatly, um, then that's something you can try. Now, you know me, I'm always going to try and not do anything but the natural thing, and that's to pull them off. Another solution that if they got really bad or I felt really out of control with them is that you can use um, a little bit of cayenne pepper. It's like a, I think a teaspoon and then a teaspoon of some Castile soap in a I think a gallon of water or a half a gallon of water and then you can spray that on your plant and apparently the worms hate the cayenne and they hate the soap so that'll get rid of them. Some people also use BT. BT is not something I've ever used before and like I said um, if I had way more plants and I had a huge issue then I might go a little bit more aggressive with it but for right now we're just going to focus on pulling them off. We're going to check the plants daily. We're going to to check them at night also and do the best we can with pulling them off and then if things get worse I'll move over um, to the cayenne pepper and the soap so let's finish our little tour this spaghetti I've got it staked up to this because you know it's it, and you can see that it's happier growing up and there's lots of blooms and activity coming here on the sides little ants if you see little ants in your blossoms that's good they're little pollinating buddies for you so i got her tied up to this cage and i'm probably gonna do the same for these two right here i'm gonna feed everything this week and this leaner right here is still doing so happy i took out all the mustard greens and i left a couple just because i want to get the seeds this tomato plant is looking super happy and these uh peppers are doing okay too and that's another thing to remember is that the tomato hornworms will eat any nightshade so tomatoes peppers eggplants so check all of those now look at this beautiful i love this thing look at how big these seeds are awesome possum so we're just letting this continue to be happy now over here is where I've got the first presentation of some females. So see, there's a female um, crookneck squash and there's another female right now. And there's a male flower. See how the male has no um, fruit behind it. Uh, so I've got plenty of pollen if one of these happens to not be open when these two flowers come open. But it's important that they get pollinated so that these vegetables these fruits if you will they go ahead and develop fully into themselves the strawberry crazy girl is trying to make some flowers again so we'll let her not a whole lot going on over here i've got a lot of seed harvesting to do um these are all ready to go my dang old daughters came here you remember i had that one beautiful deal that was just about ready to be done with its seeds and the girls were out here playing yeah for some reason they were like oh look there's nothing bad we just thought you were done with it and i'm like i cried a little bit <laughs> and it was ironic because it was the same day that i made that video last week about how even though this looks ugly we have to let it you know just be there to go through its cycles and the girls were out here playing fairies or something and they just ripped it up and they made like a crown out of the long stem and they had taken the part where the seeds were and poked it <laughs> into their hair and um so i gently explained to them through my tears that I, I never just have stuff that doesn't mean something, you know, and so always ask before you just start pulling at my stuff. So that's where we're at. I got a lot of seeds to harvest right here. So let's keep going. This patio tomato, it's really happy. It's got lots of flowers that have been coming up. It's a cherry too. And even though I said I was going to move it out there to the palette, I've gotten to the point where I think I want to see how it does here on the patio. And since I've already got it over here, um, as it gets warmer and warmer, I can actually move this in and work it through, um, hopefully, the, uh, the summer. So I can keep this one going all throughout the summer without it getting super hot. So I might take it in sometimes when it gets really warm. I'm continuing to um, kind of clean up this area over here. I took out a lot of the uh, 
cilantro that had going you can see i missed a couple of them these blue bonnets are just not blue bonnets but they're uh blue buttons uh just continue to look beautiful i especially love the pink ones even though these pink ones have about faded out um hopefully we'll get some nice seeds from those here's some more over here i love them and we've got lots of calendula going to seed this bed does not have a lot of joy going on and i think that i'm about to put some more cantaloupe in here and i'm going to harvest a bunch of these see right there look at that harvest a bunch of these uh, radishes and get some more stuff going on in this bed over here it's exciting we've got actually some emergences going on look at that happy sunflower right there it's almost yep it's up to my knee now and over here we've got cosmos that started blooming this weekend so i'm so happy to see them and we're very happy that they're loving the amount of sun that they're getting i got this cucumber uh caged up and you can see that it's really happy and it's making lots of flowers in there and it's tendril itself in these tomatillas have just been doing gangbusters even though they look as bad as they do but look that's a tomatilla and that's a tomatilla and that's a tomatilla so the thing with tomatillas is, is the little tomatilla is growing inside of this lantern and you just let it go and usually tomatillas drop when they're ready so it's a it's a long process but i'm so excited to see that they're making flowers and they're making tomatillas look at this giant over here this is the blue hubbard of course i've got lots of um, pollen that i've taken but if you're a person that likes to eat squash blossoms these are by far the biggest i've seen so that's exciting i wonder whose eggs these are that are getting laid over here on the mint i'm gonna have to either knock them off or check them out so everything over here is doing happy and we took a i did a big cutting of lettuce this week and it's just looking awesome and it tastes great it's not bitter it's just very lovely got a couple more radishes over here to get harvested cantaloupes are coming in good what the heck is that i gotta go over there and look at that this back here um is kind of dying down there's a a lot of new little baby mysteriums being born and i'm looking for some of this calendula to start blooming over here so something has been just eating the heck out of what i don't know i got i think this is an okra though this is starting to look happier this week and this tomato plant is looking good and <laughs> no matter how much i keep cutting on this kale look at this this is the biggest leaves i've ever had off of kale <laughs> and it just keeps on going and i'm going to plant something here this week so yeah this is just kind of all going through its cycles and then maybe it's those that smell good i can't remember okay hey, so now we're just going to finish up by going inside i'm so thrilled to show you my sweet potato slips and then you can just have yourself a great day so come on last week i was had shown you know this was in a, a more narrow glass and i was showing it to my mom and i was like you know what i'm gonna put that in a bigger glass and in the time from i showed you guys last week this thing has grown that much and i just love pulling this crazy thing out of here because look at that i mean it's just amazing the number of plants that are on this so um maybe this week maybe next week i don't know maybe i'll start i'll pinch this one off and get it going in its own container so that i can plant it because april or may is the month for us to go ahead and get our sweet potatoes out and onions are just looking awesome and happy too um and we're gonna use these this week for a baked potato bar well i hope you have the best week ever and i hope you enjoyed my little lesson on ewe gooey hornworms i'm so thrilled about all the tomatoes i've got going so hopefully i can keep all the worms off of them and in the next couple weeks we can see some red tomatoes and so you go have yourself the best week ever and we'll catch back up next week for another tour of my garden